Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Julia Thatcher. And I'm Jeff Herndon. Dozens of Kansans losing their jobs. Pfizer cut 80 people from its staff in McPherson. And this comes a week after Agco laid off workers in Heston. Kansan Zena Taher is digging into what is driving layoffs. Julia, Jeff, I spoke with an economic expert and a spokesperson for local workforce development. They tell me these layoffs are part of overarching fluctuations in the market and symptoms of general uncertainty being driven by a few factors. Coming up on the holidays. We've had lots of employers that are even needing to close or reduce their, their workforce. It's a time of year when a local workforce development board, Kansas Workforce One, braces for layoffs from manufacturers like Agco and Pfizer, they got a call from Pfizer last week. They reached out. We have packets that we provide, mm -hmm. which go over all the information for unemployment, um, different workforce services, resume service, everything they need to get back to work. Allen says this is the time of year when companies are doing internal audits, figuring out where they need to cut back. In a statement on the layoffs, Pfizer saying they, quote, ensure capacity is effectively utilized based on projected product demand. In essence, saying they're cutting staff because they don't anticipate needing them to meet demand. There's a lot of uncertainty in the general economy right now. Newman University professor of management Dr. Larry Straub says there are some national factors pushing companies to be more conservative. There, there just seems to be a general unease in the economy right now. And I, I tell you what, I think part of it has to do with our political landscape right now. This, uh, this election cycle is going to be incredibly intense. Both Straub and Allen say the shifts could partially be due to companies positioning themselves to be ready for changes following the November election when there will be a new administration and potentially new corporate taxation policies. Overall, both Straub and Allen say this is nothing to get too concerned about. They say these layoffs are part of a typical fluctuation in the economic cycle. Allen will meet with staff being laid off next week to help connect them with new job opportunities. Here for you, Zena Taher, KSN News 3.